And here is segment four on electromagnetic radiation. This time we're going to talk about the energy contained within electromagnetic radiation and the equation that describes the energy per unit volume, which we write as small u, so that means how much energy we have, how many joules of energy we have in a certain unit volume, cubic meter of, of uh, space, would be equal to one half epsilon sub naught e squared plus one half one over mu sub naught b squared. And so you can see that the energy is contained both within the electric field oscillations and the magnetic field oscillations. And it turns out that it's half and half. We can say that half of the energy, half of the energy is contained within the electric field oscillations and half of the energy is contained within the magnetic field oscillations. Notice that we can also talk about this as in, ter in terms of the energy density, how much energy per unit volume is also termed energy density. And so what we can do then is we can describe the energy in terms of just either one, this or this, by simply doubling either one of those terms. So u is equal to twice this, or epsilon sub naught e squared, or we can have the energy equated to u is equal to uh, twice that, which would be one over mu sub naught b squared. Of course, there's no such thing as electromagnetic radiation with only electric field oscillations or only magnetic field oscillations, but sometimes you're given problems in terms of only the b field oscillations or the electric field oscillations. b is short for magnetic field oscillations. All right, so knowing that, now we're going to try and relate that to the intensity of light. So how, do, how, how is energy density related to the intensity of light? All right, remember from the uh, finding the magnitude of the pointing vector, we could find the intensity of light, and it was equal to 1 over <coughs> mu sub naught times e squared. So somehow we're going to take this and make it look like this to relate i to u. So the first thing we're going to do is realize that the speed of light c, um, ooh, I'm missing something here. Ah, can't do that. It's actually 1 over mu sub naught times c. Now we're going to make this look like that. That's the key. And the speed of light, of course, is defined as 1 over the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught. And so if we replace a 1 over c, which if we write this as 1 over c, that's equal to the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught. If we replace 1 over c by that, we get the intensity of light is equal to the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught divided by mu sub naught times the electric field oscillation squared. Now notice if we square the bottom and take the square root at the same time so we didn't change anything, now we have both the numerator and denominator here in the underneath the radicals and that means I can eliminate this and eliminate that. So now we have i is equal to the square root of epsilon sub naught over mu sub naught times e squared. So now we're almost there. We're trying to make it look like this, so I have an epsilon sub naught in the, in the uh, equation. It's underneath the radical. Make this a little bit longer, like so. And so what if we now multiply both sides of this equation by the square root of epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught? And of course, I have to do it to both sides, epsilon sub naught times mu sub naught. It's a little mathematical trick, but notice what's going to happen. The mu sub naught here will cancel out this mu sub naught, and this multiplied that times this will give me the epsilon sub naught I'm looking for. And so that takes care of the right side equation. And on the left side equation, I realize that this is equal to 1 over c from here. So now I can say 1 over c times the intensity of light is equal to, notice this cancels out this, and this times this gives me epsilon sub naught times e squared, which, by the way, is equal to this. That's the energy density of light. So now I realize that the intensity of light divided by the speed of light is equal to the energy density. So let me write that over here. So we can say that the intensity divided by the speed of light is equal to epsilon sub naught times e squared, which, by the way, is equal to the energy density, the energy per unit volume of electromagnetic radiation. So if we're trying to figure out how much energy is contained within a certain volume of space, if there's electromagnetic radiation, we simply have to take the intensity of that electromagnetic radiation and divide it by the speed of light. So, let's find out, for example, how much energy is contained within one cubic meter of sunlight. So let's say we have a cube, that's one meter by one meter by one meter, and this contains sunlight. 
and we want to know what the energy density is, what, how much energy per unit volume. Um, so the energy density U is equal to the intensity divided by the speed of light. And the intensity of sunlight is around 1400 watts per square meter. So let's just say 1400 uh, watts per square meter for the intensity of sunlight. And if we divide that by the speed of light, we get the energy density of sunlight. Yes. <clears throat> oh, yes, thank you. It's energy per unit area. All right, so let's take, uh, and of course, let me plug in the numbers. That's 1,400 watts per square meter divided by the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that will give us watts per... <clears throat> oh, that gives us joules per cubic meter, that's the units. So we have 1400 divided by 3e to the 8, and that would be uh, 4.7, so 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6 joules per cubic meter. That would be the energy density of sunlight. And then if you want to know how much energy there is in a cubic meter, then we say that the energy uh, which is equal to the energy density times the volume, that would be equal to 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6 joules per cubic meter. And then we multiply that times 1 meter cubed, and that will then, of course, give us 4.7 times 10 to the minus 6 joules. So that's how you figure out the energy density of electromagnetic radiation and the energy contained within a certain volume that, that contains electromagnetic radiation. And that's how you do that.